so some time ago there was this movement on um, to unplug right and it was people that were looking to get off of social media um, you know maybe don't touch the phones and devices and you know while some of us thought we tried it we didn't really actually do the one or two things that we don't like doing because life's all about you know doing the things that we don't like right um, and seeing like how can we sit with that how can we um, process it how do we how do we feel in being uncomfortable right and you know as an athlete you know one of the things that i can appreciate from competing is the difference between amateurs and professionals is the professionals are comfortable being uncomfortable and it's a concept i never forgot so after my last business meeting yesterday with cisco it was 11 47 and i decided at 12 o'clock i would no longer check my emails or linkedin massive. So I once read this article about David Federer, a uh, fantastic golfer who uh, sadly struggled with alcohol and um, he was quoted and I can't remember if it was Time Magazine or Sports Illustrated, but he literally said that the whole thing about the way that 12 step programs go about one day at a time thing, he couldn't even go an hour at a time. He said he actually had to go 20 minutes at a time. And you know, <laughs> For where I am in my life and all the things that I've experienced and done, I genuinely can tell you, I now know what it feels like to be addicted to something that you can't put down. And I, I had to go put my Apple Watch in the bathroom in between towels to not hear more vibrating. I've had to put my Surface in a corner and actually unplug it so it just could go dead. It was the hardest thing in the world. Come 12, 17, I literally thought I was going to crawl out of my skin because I knew people were contacting me regarding business, money, deals, all that stuff that I seemed to somehow get obsessed with and I just couldn't respond. So here I am all of uh, 32 hours in and I'm gonna throw this out until tomorrow morning or push this out until tomorrow morning and you know, get through a full 36 hours, at least a day and a half, and, you know, kind of come back to uh, connecting tomorrow. But wow, what a learning experience, what a growth opportunity, and, you know, truly something that I can appreciate doing. Much harder than any marathon I've ever run. Makes mile 20, you know, as most distance runners know, the bonking mile, um, look like, you know, a walk in the park. So uh, I've enjoyed this experience and advise it to anyone that is struggling to disconnect and let go of anything, you know, just try and see what happens.